Uh, the other thing that's new, as you can probably tell, I've got my Sennheiser HD 25s back again. This is po quite possibly my, I might say my fourth pair, right? So th these are the seventy, what the seventy fifth anniversary edition. I think so, right? Celebrating seventy five years. Is it seventy or seventy? I don't know. One of them anyway. It's an anniversary edition of the Sennheiser HD twenty fives, the archetypal DJ DJ's headphone. Um, they've got the little yellow ear pads there as a nod to the old headphones they did back in the day, which I think were the one one fours or something like that. Um, you know, typical standard HD twenty five, really light uh, unit overall. Um, everything here is replaceable from the pads to the cables to the cups. You can replace them and change them. My previous pair I had, whoever's got them out there, you're lucky bastard. The previous pair I had were black with a see-through cable. So if you've got those, then you're happy because I lost them somewhere or I might have chucked them in the bin accidentally. So you can get a little see-through cable or cables differently. On the, You can get different cables on them, sorry. And then at the end, you could have them be a bit spiraled so they don't have to get tangled up. But I'm happy with these, you know, I've returned to the best. They're, they were <clears throat> they were a promotion offer, so they came out to about 90 quid. Again, I think they're celebrating 75 years. I'm going to say that. I think 75 years. So they put these special edition ones out. Typical, you know, just standard. Exactly the same as the normal ones you get in the store, as the inline ones, but just have the additional um, different cups. And then I think they've got a different sort of iconography here on the band. I'm pretty sure it's a bit different to the original ones I had. I'm not too sure. But yeah, apart from that. Oh, and they do come with the replaceable black pads as well that I might start using. But I'm starting to like the yellow pads. At first, I thought it was a bit naff, but I'm starting to like them. The more and more I've started to read into the reason why they went into using them and checking out some of the old vintage pairs, I'm quite enjoying having the little yellow ear pads, something a bit different. But yeah, those are the headphones I've got. And they're staples, man, you know, in the... Just in terms of if you're a bit of an audio file and you like your you like how your stuff sounds with a bit of extra bass, these are the best way to go with the best thing to go for. But I think if especially if you're a DJ or you aspire to be one, it's good to have like your bass it, it's good to have the fundamental equ bits of equipment be the industry standards. And this is one of them. I'm a big believer in that. If you wanna, you know, get started, make sure you have them. If you have the if you're gonna get a controller, get the best in class. If you're gonna get a headphone, get a best in class. And then the rest of the stuff you can possibly get away with having, you know, some shitty things here and there. You could possibly get away with having not the best monitors. Um, you could probably get you probably even get away with having um you know, mediocre or entry level cables just to go with your units, you know what I mean? And then you can start upgrading bit by bit as you progress. I think that's the major important thing I've learned over the years is don't get hung up on equipment. Don't think because you've got a pair of shitty Amazon headphones that you can't go and DJ somewhere. You can. The most important thing is just to get the fundamentals there correct, right? Making sure you know how to beat match um, or whatever it may be or how to cue your music up in the first place what to hear what to listen or hear for when you are preparing yourself on record box and then as you progress you might want these because you know you have the advantage of especially with the other sony headphones or normal headphones i think most headphones has have this thing if you've got a monitor headphone where the actual cable the output cable here it's on one side so you don't have the annoyance of having both cable you know normal headphones you have both cables coming out from both cups you have them only on one side, so when you take them off your head, it's a little bit easier. You don't, it doesn't have that strangling effect on you. You've also got the the the, uh, the fact that these cups are all retractable, right? As you can tell there, you can also spin one of them backwards to kind of keep it away from your ear to give you a little bit, um, to give your ears a bit of a breather. So, and then of course you've got the benefit of kind of like splitting the headband here. So it can fit your massive chrome a bit easier. So I've got a bit of a big head, so that kind of helps. So you get these added advantages, but at the end of the day, they're still just headphones. Isn't it? So if you don't need them, don't get them. But if you are looking for a pair of staple headphones to use during your DJ sets, I recommend you get them. They're the best in class out there. Um, there's a few other brands I was looking at. Um, there's the brand called Fonon. It's a freaking Japanese um it's a little japanese brand that dixon uses and a few other people and they've got as a headphone that's probably a similar looking to like an an iii have you pronounced that is it aaa or ai after you pronounce that name of that brand but similar to that kind of look where it's sort of got like a flat cup um the band is a little bit thicker 
and then it's got like a little metallic plate on the side of it so it looks really really clean i recommend you check those out if you're curious about it let me actually get them up here on the screen so you guys can see let me put this down here put my headphones back on let me show you if i can show you where that headphone is it's like a fun on something right fun on there we go for non for four get them up here if you guys to see the d d d d images yes yeah, this one so number two so i think they're about 250 pounds so if you want something probably a step above what i've got at the moment and you know maybe something a little bit more unique than what everyone else is wearing now on the in the DJ booth then definitely check these out Phonon 4400 really really nice headphones yeah they're about 300 euros here on this side but they look incredible and of course it, this is the the version from Dixon's store label Muting the Noise so yeah and then so the I'm, I'm guessing the ear, the cups the ear bits whatever they're called they spin around which makes them easier to transport um and then of course you got the advantage of just being able to spin them around and hold them upside down and you know cue that way but yeah really cool headphones that are out there available at the moment so loads of great options and of course you've always got the you know again you've always got the option of just picking up a little cheap regular pair from sony on amazon like i did to begin with and then working your way up you know there's no rush with these kind of things but yeah some good stuff there